So I made a video on how to use the iPhone's cool standby mode a while back, and it was really well received. I, I think it passed 175,000 views. But what I've learned in the YouTube world is that you're never one and done. So today, because this is such a cool iPhone feature, I'm going to show you how to set up standby mode one more time. If you don't know what standby mode is, it's a way to turn your iPhone into an informational display. To activate standby mode, your iPhone must be connected to power and flipped into landscape mode. Pressing the side button to turn your iPhone off will then activate standby mode. Standby mode works on any iPhone with iOS 17 or later from the iPhone XR and the SE second generation and newer, but if you want that really cool always on display, you need an iPhone 14 Pro, 15 Pro, or 16 Pro. Apple finally brought the always on display to the base iPhone 17, which is what I'm using in today's video. I'm also running iOS 26. If you don't have an iPhone with the always on display capability, you can still use standby mode, but the display will turn off after a short time and require a tap or nudge to reactivate. Okay, with that out of the way, let's jump into the Settings app to make sure your iPhone is ready to go. If you open the Settings app and tap on Standby, you can set the options for how it will function. Be sure, of course, to turn Standby mode on, then tap on Display. Here is where you determine how long the screen will stay active. If you choose Automatically, the iPhone will determine when the screen will light up and when it will go dark. And I hate that because it always goes dark before I want it to. If you choose after 20 seconds, the screen will turn off after, of course, 20 seconds. I leave this setting on never because I often use my iPhone in standby mode as a status board and I just want to glance at it whenever I want to and I don't want the screen to be dark. Plus, when I use the iPhone at night as a bedside clock, I don't want to have to reach over to the nightstand and tap the phone or wave an arm or something like that to activate it. I just want to open my eyes and see the time. I also leave night mode on. When this is activated, the iPhone tints to a dark red color so as not to be so bright at night. So there are three types of information you can view on your iPhone in standby mode, namely widgets, photos, and clocks. To view these types, you just swipe right or left. Once you're within one of these three categories, you just swipe up or down to view the various options. For example, you can swipe up or down to view different clock styles. But though you're limited to these three, you can customize them. The widget screen displays two different widget stacks side by side, and you can simply swipe through the widgets you have in each stack. To customize a widget stack, just long press on the widget until you enter edit mode. Here you tap the little minus icon beside any widget you want to get rid of. If you want to add a widget to the stack, just tap the little plus icon and choose a new widget. It's very simple. What I like about these widgets is that they are interactive. For example, if I tap on the calendar widget, a little arrow pops up in the corner. If I tap on that arrow, it opens up the calendar app. Super handy. To get back to standby mode, just press the side button again. I use the widget mode most of the time. It turns my iPhone into a little status screen I find so helpful. Standby mode can also turn your iPhone into a digital photo frame, and honestly, that's very nice too. By default, standby mode groups photos into four categories, featured, nature, cities, and people. And if that suits you, you're good to go. To view a different category, just swipe up or down. But you're really not limited to just these photo stacks. If you tap and hold on a photo, you'll see a little eye icon. Tapping on this icon will hide that category from view. But the real power here is that you can add any album you have in your photo library by tapping the plus button and choosing an existing album. But here's the thing, once you're in an album, you can't swipe from photo to photo. You have to let standby scroll through the photos for you. Still though, I love having a digital photo frame at my desk. Lastly are the clocks. Again, to view the available clocks, simply swipe up or down. Here though, customization is pretty limited. If you tap and hold on a clock, you'll see a little white circle at the bottom right of the clock. If you tap on that circle, you can change some of the colors of the clock. And that's pretty much it, which is fine. 
I do like that with the world clock you can tap any city you've saved in the clock app and see the time of day for that city. That's pretty cool. And like I mentioned before, the clock will turn red and dim itself when the lights are out. Like, you know, most bedside clocks. So there you have it, a simple look at how to set up and use standby mode on your iPhone. I hope you found this short video helpful. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.